Um, Americans for Prosperity has been a great partner and a great friend uh, all throughout the country and especially here in the state of Florida. Uh, this gentleman's the uh, state director uh, here in Florida. He used to work for, he used to be a state director for Consumers for a Smart Economy, correct? Citizens for a Smart Economy. Citizens for a Smart sound, Economy. Sound economy. <laughs> he was a political consultant, but I'm, I'm so thankful he is now the state director of Americans for Prosperity who helped us get here today, has helped with the dinner tonight I hope everyone's going to. Thank you. Please welcome Thank you. Mr. Slater Bryant. Thank you, thank you all for being here. Uh, you know, what a great crowd of people from around the state, different Tea Party groups, different 912 groups, different conservative groups. You know, Jason did this before, but give yourself a great big hand. Woo! You know, as, as Jason okay. mentioned, I used to be uh, on the other side of the aisle a little bit, the fact that I was a political consultant. I like to call myself a reformed political consultant because what I've learned as I've grown older is that the real power is with you the real power is with the people there are a couple undeniable truths in politics and one of them is that government goes to those who show up yep. well today we showed up Woo! another truth is that an unorganized minority can be can, I'm sorry, an organized minority can beat an unorganized majority any day of the week. Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, we are not the minority, and we are getting organized. Woo! <laughs> <All right. laughs> Americans for Prosperity, as you may know, is a national grassroots organization. We believe in three things. We believe in the same three things that all of you do in your clubs. We believe in limited government as defined by the Constitution of the United States of America. Woo! We believe in fiscal restraint. Government should live within its means just like you and I have to do. Yep. And last but certainly not least, we believe that economic freedom and a free market economy leads to the has, provides the greatest path to the greatest prosperity for the majority of people. You know, we've got about 350 to 370 people that have come up here today from around the state. And the unique thing about this is, is that there's not a single person here that's going to go meet with the legislature with his hand out. Mm -hmm. Yep. We're actually coming up here and telling them to stop spending money. We want them to cut the budget. We want them to cut programs. We want our money in our own hands because we know how to do with it better than they do. Yes. Woo! This morning we had an opportunity to be on the radio and on television about this rally. And very quickly, uh, David Bernstein, the spokesman for the Democratic Party, put out a statement. I'm going to read you his statement real quick. The Tea Party is coming to visit their favorite extremist politician, Rick Scott. <laughs> Scott and the GPO-controlled legislature have shown time and time again they, came, they care more about implementing an extreme agenda rather than improving Florida's economy. Moving our state in the wrong direction and forcing our recovery to lag behind the rest of the nation. While, while Democrats are fighting for the middle class, <laughs> the, the Republicans' Tea Party is already leaving a bad taste in the mouth of Florida's critical independent voters. By a show of hands, how many people here are in the middle class? <laughs> wow. Does the Democratic Party speak for you? No! I didn't think so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's true. Tea parties are not Republican or nonpartisan organizations, and we hold all elected officials accountable. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Both sides. We, we praise them when they do well, and we tell them when they're not doing well. And fortunately for us, we've got a governor who so far is doing pretty well. Woo! 
and, and contrary to the false statements put out by the spokesman for the Democratic Republican Party, we've actually making a little bit of an economic recovery here in Florida. We're actually creating some jobs. And I've got a special guest I'd like to introduce you to who's going to talk a little bit more about that. Please welcome Tim Phillips, the president of Americans for Prosperity. Woo!